forward to the office some screens to get free um, on the right side. Can you take it? Well, um, Coach drew up the play to where we, I circled around and just told me, just you got four seconds to score. So I took the four seconds and I did my best. Did, which, how close was she when, when you attempted the shot from the, from the wing? Oh, she was right there. I think I kind of felt a nudge my arms a little bit. You shoot about 20-something percent from three point range. How, oh, confident yeah, did you, how confident did you feel in the Um, I was pretty confident. I knew I had to score or we was going to lose, so I had to be confident. Courtney, I saw you kind of look up at the clock. At what, what's going through your mind when you get to those last couple of dribbles that just take us through the, the course of events? Um, trying to stay composed, I think. Um, knowing that it's time, it's enough time to get a, a good enough shot off, not just going for the half court shot or the NBA three. So just keeping my composure. Ain't gonna talk about just the grind out there, grinding this one out. What you experienced out there? You talking about the whole game, really? Game. Well, yeah. There was a big crowd. I mean, we didn't expect anything different. I feel like Coach Fernandez told us to get ready and like get together as a team, no matter what. Stay together and play through it, and that's what it is. Shalithi, can you talk about stepping up when some of your key players are sitting on the bench with foul trouble? It looked like <laughs> you you had a mindset to try to take the game over. Yes, I know that we had a couple of people in foul trouble. You know, I just we didn't want my team to go down with a loss. Because I just want to take them the whole way and be there to help them do that. Have you been as aggressive as you you were tonight in taking the ball to the basket? Um, I think I was more aggressive this game taking the ball to the basket. Uh, for, for any of you guys, uh, at one point, Coach said to one of the officials, uh, my, my kids can't move. Uh, can you talk about uh, their defense and, and how, how that contributed to uh, what, 39% uh, shooting three guys? Well, I think that was just tough. I think they just, they was just staying on us. They reminded me of rubbers because I, they play so physical. So it was just a matter of us keeping our head up and not losing our composure and just, just staying tough and not letting, not losing our cool. I guess for any of you, when, when did you realize that the final shot that you guys attempted wasn't actually the final shot and they were going to put more time on the clock? I guess they're the one that missed, um, what was it? Inbound the ball after MSU scored, and then you go down this court shoot. When did you know that that wasn't the actual final shot? I guess. I'm confused. Are you talking about they when they made the shot? When they made the shot, you guys dribbled down the court and like took oh. that last second shot, and they celebrated. Did you guys know that you had call timeout or? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. They didn't That's stop the time. Okay. So, yeah, we knew. Inga, can you talk about uh, for what? Uh, teammates said about their defense today being like Rutgers um, sticking with it and especially in the second half you were able to work free and get, get some open looks finally uh, and you hit some of them. Uh, can you talk about being persistent and trying to stay active and, and getting free? Yeah, I mean Coach Fernandez talked to us in ha um, during halftime. He was like, don't let don't let them punk you. Like he mentioned, it was like um, we have to uh, play physical and stuff because I mean we're used to like people grabbing our jerseys and like being all in, like us not getting the ball and stuff. So he just said, like, we have to get open, like, get the ball and go score. So. Okay. To make sure I heard you, you said pumped. Pumped. Okay. Courtney, when did you know your shot was going in? Oh, when I let it go. <laughs> yeah. And what was the feeling like when it actually went through? Oh, that's like, man, it was a feeling I'll never forget. <laughs> And uh, I guess we'll rewind it a little bit back to when uh, 21 had the dribble penetration and kicks the 10 in the layup. Uh, can you guys, re do you remember what happened on that play for, for her to get free and, and find your teammate for the layup? Yes, it, uh, it started for me, like, not probably not dropping back to help because she went on the other side. My teammate picked up my man to help me. So just getting back. I think it helped my teammate rotating on defense.